Rachel Downs with Paintology and Scenic Artist for Music Theater Wichita. And today I'm going to show you how to take a tired, busted up door and make it look new again. Sometimes we have old doors in our theater or in our home and they're getting dry and the sealer's wearing off or they're scratched up. And instead of painting that door, you can actually restore it really easily with just a few short steps. So I'm going to show you today. So the first thing we have to do is we have to abrade the finish. We have to scratch it up. The finish on them is probably 40 years old at least, probably more. See, this one, the finish is really drying out. There's not much of the sealer left at all, like it's dry. And at the top, it's looking really sad. But we can make this guy look new again. It's not ready to accept a new coat of paint. This is old polyurethane. We have to scratch it up just a little bit and then it'll have tooth to it and it'll be ready to accept whatever we put on it and it'll stick better. We don't want to sand the finish off. We just want to scratch the surface a little bit. I'm going to go over this door lightly just with one or two passes. I'm not even hardly going to push. If I push too hard, especially on that dry door, I'm going to sand all the finish off. Okay, so the next step on these doors is we have to clean them, okay? We just scuffed up the surface a little bit so it's ready to accept paint, but now there's fine dust on them and they're probably dirty anyway. So I've got a bucket with warm water and Dawn soap and a microfiber cloth. Okay, so Dawn soap cuts through grease. It's mild, it's not abrasive, it doesn't have, it's, it's the perfect soap for cleaning. There's one spot on this door where the veneer is popping up a little bit. So I'm gonna glue that back down before we move forward. I've got some wood glue here and I've squirted it into this little bottle, which came with a tie-dye t-shirt kit, but it has a really thin little nose on the end. So I think I can squirt the glue back underneath the veneer and glue it down. I've got a one by four here, and that way I can clamp it like this, and it'll kind of provide even pressure along the entire bottom of the door. We're going to use gel stain to repair all of these worn spots and scratches that are all over this door. The gel stain that I have is made by Full Effects. It's waterborne. It dries quickly. It's semi-transparent, so it doesn't go on opaque like a paint would and it's wonderful to work with. It's a good theater application because it dries so fast. The most common color that almost works for every application is rich brown. I have a roll of cheesecloth here, which is what I like to apply it with. Now we're ready to paint. In my gel stain, I have mixed in a little bit of FX thinner, which is basically just a slow drying clear acrylic because I don't want it to go on too thick. I'm gonna dip it in. I don't want to put very much on at all. And I don't want to use a brush because the brush is going to put way too much on. All I'm trying to do is just give a sheer thin coat of the whole thing. But as soon as I take this over the top of the door, the scratch just kind of goes away. The stain and seal is dry. It was dry in about 10 minutes, the gel stain that I put on them. Um, so I've given it about an hour so that it can cure out and bite in and dry. And now I'm gonna seal them. I'm gonna seal them with a poly acrylic. So it's an acrylic polyurethane. It cleans up with water and it dries very, very quickly. You can put it on with a brush and you always, of course, brush in the direction of the grain, working fairly quickly. Don't mess with it a hundred times because then you'll mess it up. You can put it on with a roller, but if you put it on with a roller, the nice thing about a roller is it puts it on evenly and it distributes it evenly throughout the door. But if you're gonna put it on with a roller, then you need to take a straight sash brush like this, a synthetic bristle brush, and you need to go in the direction of the grain, comb, it, comb those roller marks back down. So a brush is best, but I'm gonna spray it on because I look great. Okay, 
we're gonna let this dry two hours. One more coat and we have turned a very cruddy looking old door into a door that looks brand new. Now it's time to take a look at our finished door installed. And here it is. It's looking brand new again. It's so beautiful. I need to redo all the doors in my house like this. <laughs> So we were able to do this in one day because I used water-based gel stain, which dries quickly, is very nice for the environment and easy to work with. And then, and because I sanded it and because I cleaned it, my water-based products will stick to this previously polyurethane door. Easy to do and very affordable. And again, I'm Rachel Downs with Paintology and Music Theater Wichita. Thank you for watching, more to come shortly more videos to follow stay healthy stay safe god bless